Even though the animated movie Paws of Fury – The Legend of Hank is based on many popular fighting movies and transformed into a kids-friendly thing, it looks like it didn't get the love it hoped it would. But it's safe to say that the movie is interesting, and right now, we're gonna explain all of the important details that you might have missed at the very end and post-credits. Make sure you watch this video till the very end. You are definitely not a samurai because you are a dog and that goes back to you not being a cat! Go back where you came from, God chaser! Paws of Fury – The Legend of Hank is directed by Chris, Mark, and Rob, and it was released on July 15, 2022. This is a story about a lone dog that travels to a cat empire that is ruled by a shogun and they aspire to become samurai. Hank the dog likes the idea and he gets inspired by the cat that once saved him from bullies, and now he wants to become a samurai as well. But the cliché of cats hating dogs is shown in the movie, and as you may guess, our boy Hank gets into trouble. Every one of Hank's attempts to become a samurai is met with hostility, but he is eventually accepted. I am your boss. What? I am your boss! Jimbo is Hank's sensei, the great samurai whose legends precede him. But in person, Jimbo is not quite as impressive as Hank imagined. Before Jimbo agreed to train Hank, he was depressed because he thought he lost his only friend, who is a new shogun now. He had fallen into a strong self-deprecation and decided to hide with his catnip. Jimbo couldn't even imagine that Jimbo would become a kind of remedy for him as he gave him a new life, meaning that he started training him. We don't know whether you noticed or not, but Jimbo's mental health is quite questionable, because he lets Hank get away with almost any comment made against him. When Jimbo defeats the sumo thanks to his intelligence, he refuses to take any credit for it, and he accepts the fact that Hank enjoys the fame. He did this because he knew that they would win and it would be super helpful for Hank as the cats will accept him. And this is exactly what happened. But he's not a dog. He's, he's my friend. However, Hank takes it all for granted, and when Jimbo reprimands him, Hank refuses to listen. And here we go again. Jimbo decides to lose himself with catnip again when Hank goes to a party without him. Many people found it so weird that Jimbo is shown as a weak person as he is back to depression again. Jimbo becomes so drunk on catnip that he literally forgets how to be a samurai. But once he meets the shogun, he slowly comes back to his old self and slowly gains his confidence confidence back. Jimbo was so destroyed inside that he took every event super personally and even managed to hurt innocent people at that birthday party because of his misunderstanding of the party for an ambush. The character is shown really miserable at some point, and this is probably the reason why not many people liked this plotline. Even when the town he lived in was in danger, Jimbo couldn't do anything though. He tried his best to get out of his comfort zone. Of course, eventually everything ends up good as Hank helps Jimbo overcome his PTSD. But to many people, this character is super confusing. Time to clean up this town! Let's go get him! Hank is definitely an easier character compared to Jimbo. He's shown as the guy who has to chase his dream and has to overcome obstacles because he is different. He is a dog in a cat's world. He made a huge way to finally reassure someone training him, but he also starts to lose himself because first, he didn't see results after practicing for a few days and took it out on his master, Jimbo. He becomes rude and super selfish. He he ignores Jimbo, who has told him to train the hours he needed to become a really great samurai. Many people who watch the movie describe his character as a bit flat with no complexities except for a backstory that serves as his motivation. Moreover, when Hank scored his first victory in one of the battles, he became lax with everything he did because he felt a taste of fame. First, he didn't even realize his mistake, but when he comes back to a ruined town, he sees how he disappointed everyone, but most importantly, he disappointed himself. This is the one who brought him back to life after scolding him, even though he's always been the one to support Hank. In the end, Hank had a chance to restore his reputation by helping get rid of the bad guy. He ends up a hero and recognizes their true potential as samurai and even helped Jimbo recover. Jimbo, you're alive! So that's Jimbo! 
Many fans need the ending to be explained as some of them think that the filmmakers left the door open for a sequel. In the very end of the movie, we see Hank coming back to a ruined town after his self-reflection. He decides to follow everything that Jimbo says, helps him, and rescues Sumo from captivity. The three, Sumo, Jimbo, and Hank, defeat the soldiers sent in and rush back to save the citizens. However, Hank has a major fight with the villain and Hank sets off a huge toilet that they had to build to boast his power, which makes them furious. But the problem is that the explosion caused water to gush out towards the town, and now our heroes had to rush back immediately to start digging around the town in order to save it. When the Shogun arrives, he wants to arrest Hang on their testimony, but things get another turn because Jimbo and the rest of the townsfolk support Hang, and he ends up as a samurai of the town. Hank then realizes that she's the one who deserves this status because every time the town was in trouble, she was the first one to rush and help. Of course, she's super happy to receive this role, and Hank gets back to training with Jimbo because he wants to become a better samurai than he is now. Many fans think that we should expect a sequel and that this is a new movie and that we may see Hank as a very powerful samurai who is ready to protect the town and its citizens no matter what. I just got this urgent appeal from the town of Kakamucho. Seems they've been set upon by bandits. If you take a look at these two characters closely, you'll notice that they were both portrayed well as two sides of the same coin. The only thing that makes them different is the fact that Shogun helped his friend overcome his fear and trauma by being close to him. On the contrary, they were rude and insulted his employees as well as his assistants. His biggest aim was to destroy the town to make history. It was probably a little throwback to what some politicians in real life do as well. He wanted to erase the entire country secretly but directly, but fortunately he was caught and punished. After he was disqualified, we see the Shogun as a picture-perfect leader who helps the hero save the town. Of course, his character raised so many questions, but he ended up being a good politician. His personality was also met with likes from the viewers because when they saw his friend being depressed and miserable, he decided to help him and get over the incident. Oh, come on, Oga, take care of him. Is he sick? No, you simple-minded twit. Finish him! The Shogun took his time talking to Jimbo and explained that he wasn't offended anymore and that he only has good memories that are connected with Jimbo. Thanks to his help, Jimbo overcame his trauma. Another thing that is clearly shown in the movie is how people are treated because of how different they are and that they are bullied for being a part of a different race. Of course, this issue wasn't the main message in the movie, but it definitely lightly touched on the topic. But in the end, everything was good because Hank, who is betrayed as a stranger and obviously the one who is being a different race, received the status of the main samurai of the city. Indeed, it goes without saying that this move broke the cliché and also reinstated some of the discrimination. It's a decent, family-friendly movie, but it really banks upon the fame of Samuel L. Jackson. But as we've already mentioned, for some reason, the movie didn't receive the love it hoped it would. Mommy, what does that have to do? I failed to teach, and you failed to learn. I've learned a lot from you. Have you watched Pause of Fury, The Legend of Hank? Did you like the movie? Do you think we should expect a sequel? Feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. You know something? That ain't such a bad idea. Sure, why not? And I gotta tell you, it's good to be the Shogun.